Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Tafia and my husband is called Ijaz. And today we'll, we did a QA. Um, actually, we do get different questions on Instagram. We've been doing a video for a while. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's been a while since we did a video, but we did the thing, and you know, when we went to Bridgerton, I posted that video as well. Oh, did so it hasn't been long. We did it last oh, that's week. Fine, then. Yeah, but we haven't done many videos. But that's actually, you can explain why we haven't been doing a lot of videos. Busy. Yeah, we've been busy. Anyway, and this is not like a job for us. It's not like full-time job, so like it's not like we have to keep doing it. So we do that when we have the time. If you guys get it. Anyway, so we've did uh, we did ask Q and A on Instagram, and we've got some few questions that we're gonna ask answer. And some of the question actually the, the question that we get in a DM. But let's just get into it. First question. First question. Do you still do we split the the bill? How do you say split? Split the bill. <laughs> Do we split the view? Well, when you, you're going to start working on Monday. I'm starting working on Monday, the 1st so, of August. Yeah, then, uh, yeah, we might, we might. No, we don't. In Islam, uh, I just need to pay for everything. And I just need to eat and sleep and just, that's it. You don't want to work? Um, just to be active and just do something instead of just, you know, Fair be bored. Fair Anyway, we don't pay. We don't pay. Our pays for everything. Uh, he pays for all the bills and food and everything. Yeah. Uh, second question: How old are you guys? His birthday just passed on Thursday, so he turned thirty-one, and I'm twenty-five. Thirty-one. What did I say? Thirty-one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I'm twenty-five. I'm gonna turn twenty-six in September. And um, annoying thing about each other. What's annoying thing about each other? Uh, is moody yeah all the time no all the time i'm not moody right now well, i haven't well, been moody well, today well, have i been moody today when the only one before yeah you <laughs> well, when, when we went out yeah because i was doing something important. yeah he was on the phone when we go out like it's our day out and he's on the phone so i got a little bit like but it wasn't moody, moody and i asked you what's what's wrong and said so you said nothing so when I say nothing, that's annoying. That's annoying. I, I tell. I tell. What's, what's the issue? Oh, this is the problem. I tell. I mean, no, when I say nothing, that's what women do. If you're a woman, you understand me. I mean, he was still on the phone when he's asking me what's my matter. And it's because he was talking on the phone. Uh, annoying thing about Azaz. I, I say it's not, it's not annoying. It's just because Azaz have this sense of humor that I don't get it. Like, I'm not like him. We are different. Dark, dark sense of humor. Yeah. So he makes jokes, and I'm like, just stop. Stop, 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 because it's not funny. Partially, my sisters, my friends, the find that's hilarious, like he's funny, but I just don't get it because I'm, I'm just boring. <laughs> and I don't lie when I, when I make jokes. No, yeah, no, 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 they're not, they're not lie jokes. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, what, what other name did you have for baby, for your baby instead of Yusra? Did we have another name? No, I think we locked it straight away. Actually, before we even had a baby, like Yusra was our main name. We never thought of anything. We didn't even try to find a boy name. But like my sister we wanted to name her. I said no. Yeah, we never even thought like if we had a baby, what were we gonna call? We didn't. We never thought of it. Okay. Oh, inshallah, a second baby girl. It's a rhyming of Yusra. Yusra mm -hmm. and Bushra. No. Yusra means ease. Mm -hmm. Bushra means. Uh, Bushra means, uh, I think it's Bushra means, uh, I know it, I know it, uh, Bushra means, uh, gift? No, Bushra. Happy, 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 happy. Oh. Glad tidings? Huh? Mm. Glad tidings or Bushra? Bushra, Bushra, Bushra means I'm searching guys and see if it's gonna come. Bushra. Good news. Good news. Which is nice, that's yeah, actually really news. nice. Yusra, Bushra. Yusra Bushra. Isn't it Bushra sound like a funny of Yusra? Like no. Yusra sound a beautiful name to Bushra. Yusra and Bushra. Yusra. Yusra. Bushra. Wait, yeah, we all think of girls' names. My sister was, yeah. was gonna name her first daughter Yusra or Bushra, but Bushra. then they changed it to Huda. Huda means uh, I know, but I want our baby's name to be Azaz's mom's name. Is a what? Hajar. Hajar. I love Hajar. that name. I feel like that name is so beautiful. When my mom actually loved Hajar. Also, third like that. baby. Second baby, I said. No, yeah. Weirdly, we don't actually think of boy's name. 
mostly is usually girl's name. Even Yusra, we just used to think of Yusra, Yusra, and then Fela was a girl and they would continue Yusra, Yusra. Who was going to call Yusir if he was a boy in there? Yusir. Yusir. Probably. Anyway, okay. How long did you know each other before marriage? I think we spoke about this. So we met in July, August, September, October, November. We got married in November. So after three months, we got married. So we met, we we met in, in July, in yeah, 4th of November. You forgot. No, I was just checking, you know. <laughs> yeah, we got married in November. Uh, do we split? I can't say the word. Split. split. Bills on the date. We don't actually go on a date, guys. What date? If you go on a date, like out eating, basically. Split. Their bill. Well, we don't day, go on a date. The day I don't feel like uh, spending. I'm like, okay, your trip, you're going out. Simple. Like to dine in burgers, her trip, because she, she hasn't bought me my, well we don't celebrate birthdays or anything but still he does accept gift on his birthday but we don't celebrate, we don't make a party or anything like that no, right? accept gift, accept gift because it's a gift if someone gives you a gift you don't yeah, in Islam it. you need to accept it yeah, I just accept it it increases love does it increase love for you? yeah so since when I bought this one, did it increase love for you? you, need, you have to bring more gifts for that <laughs> anyway um, so we don't split like if we go in a restaurant i think you guys mean like if we go and buy like we order different food do we split that be like it comes oh, 20 no. pound 10 10 pound each no yeah. we don't we don't chip we don't i mean no either if she, if, if she's craving it and if, if i'm not craving anything she pays for it yeah but, but, but mostly, mostly it's i do yeah mostly it's and um, why is each other best quality you wish you had. So what's your best quality that I wish I had and what's my best quality that you wish you had? I think with Azaz, I'll say like his sense of humor that I said like I don't like it, but he's more like funny and things like that. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I put this B. <laughs> B first, you know, all the time, most of the time. You guys will get it, I mean, you know. What do you wish you had? Well, I wish I had. For me, like my, this is gonna take forever, but. <laughs> well, I, I so a good, good manner, I mean a good thing, a quality that I have that you wish you had so you don't have oh. that, something like that. Oh, that's a good question. Very good question. And I think like okay, also I'm gonna add this, Azaz is very caring, uh, more than me, so he will like give me a kiss before he leaves, he will give me a kiss sometime when he used to come back home. Um so he's more romantic more than me, so I wish I was that if you guys get what I mean. Do you have anything? Kiss means kissing forehead. Prophet, yeah, on the forehead. Yeah, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to kiss uh, his it's spouse, sunnah. his spouse, on their forehead before going for salah. Yeah. But most of that is he's sleeping when I go for my salah. He still kisses me even though he's going to thing into. That's how he shows like you, you, you do it so you are more romantic than me and all that. It's Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah, so you I'm follow me, so mashallah, you know, if you I'm follow. trying at least, I'm trying. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, yeah, I know, I know. I wish I had to stay at like, home like her uh, all day. And That's no good quality from me. Like, what is that? What? And what is that? My boss quality? All the bills have been pay paid for and I can just go out and just, just do this on the phone. And then all this spending editing and then posting. But that's not my best quality, is it? That's not, no, best. That's not that's quality, quality. No, is that's it? that's not quality. Uh, sorry, I beg your pardon. Um, <laughs> so I don't have any. He can't think of any. Tawakkul. Um, Tawakkul on Allah. What does that mean? They know. Okay. Uh, Tawakkul means reliance on Allah. Relying on Allah all the time. Anything bad happens, khair. Good, khair, yeah, yeah. yeah it happened by the will of Allah. Inshallah, it will be okay. Yeah. Um, another question, um, one of the girls, she said, I want to get married and if I want to get married, how much money my, my, the spouse should have it for me, to, like, what, how much money is enough? No, not spouse to have it, if that's, that's the question. No, 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 wait, let that's me That's the question, I will stop right there, that the brother, I'll ask the brother to stay away from. Because, to see how much money the person had before you're getting married. Okay, no, 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 the question, sorry, I went wrong. What is the minimum salary you think it's okay to conveniently support two people in UK? 
What do you mean? So she doesn't, live in the, she doesn't live in the UK, so how much is enough money that can support two people to live in this country? How much is it? It depends on your lifestyle. Yeah, it depends. It completely and depends. On, I mean, I used to... I, I used to be happy with minimum, oh. bare minimum wage when I was single because my expense was none, second to none because all I used to spend was food. Bills? No bills. Well, no bills at that time. Yeah, no So bills. if you have a bills, just bills and food. If bills you and don't food. lack a spending on and I used stuff. And I used to save every penny. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 it depends on your lifestyle, to be honest. If you have a... If you're coming from a different country, for example, back home, can't pick a country. But if, let's say, for example, if Arab people mm. moves from there to here, mm. their lifestyles are all, you know, mm. very high profile. People. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So they they will look for that kind of the life in here. lifestyle yeah, yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. If a person back home is coming from a very home, low like level, I mean, not low level, but middle class, hand to mouth coming to this country um, I mean as a couple I would say up north if they have a house 1200 1500 max so say like 1500 that's 1500 yeah, I think live, you can easily, live with them easily so easily. that is like up north though. so that's like you know I mean no all England that's just like you know that's how much anyway next question but city yeah, so. like London and stuff no London like that no no you can't you know what I mean yeah that won't be enough because that would be just the building by itself or just the rent to stuff if you, if you own a house, then it's a different story. If you own a house, yeah. Which so owning a house in this country is not easy. 2K though. should be fine. 2K. Yeah. If in you this own country, a house. there is law of Israel. Yeah. Law of Israel. Mm. Yeah. Um, last question, yeah. uh, which is uh, there's a sister. Actually, I've got this about two or three sisters. They keep asking me. This is a question to ask because obviously I haven't got like black people ask me. Uh, is Indian girls or like Asian girls, I'll say. Um, they're saying like, how do you convince yourself, your parent, yeah? Mm -hmm. How do you convince your parent to, how do you tell them that you want to marry a black girl and how do you go, I mean black guy, and how do you go well about it so they can understand it from, from like Gujarat or something like that? How do you talk to them about it? Because usually they don't, they just don't allow it. So someone, even if you, even if you, you have one, they haven't even told them, you still get scared of telling them because they, you know this, like mostly this is how they would react. So how would you convince your parents? Um, look, my parents travel. My parents travel different countries, different. But you know, there's people different, that uh, been to, like met people with from different background, different culture. Mm. So my dad was very open. My dad even said black white yellow whatever yeah as long as she's uh, she, she's she's muslim she's she's uh, pious allah conscious and most of all if you don't go wrong direction after getting married to that person he's happy with anything because he he said we he need to you need to live your life with that person. so example no. if your parent or your dad said they like a uh, no black girl well, how would you have I can't even imagine or think of it because my dad's yeah. never, ne never been like that. Yeah. So he's really hard. He's really hard for it's you really to hard for me to... But but my other family members who are not got married to you, mm. and when I said about you, mm. they were like, mm, black girl. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Different yeah. culture. Mm. So, well, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> They had to ask three, four times. Then because they, I feel like if he was in that situation, if they I mean, were the before parent, that, before that, that no one came to me. Oh, we have this girl. Do you want to get married? As soon as I mention, I've got someone. And she's black. She's black. Oh, do you want to get married to this? Oh, why didn't you come to me? I would have found you someone good. <laughs> and I'm like, Where well, I already find someone good. Why do you want to find someone else? Someone else, good, whatever. And yeah. until then, no one really cared. Yeah, really. So it really tell. It, 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 it depends. But Islamically, there is no black, white, and yellow. If the person is nice, I really um, feel like 
for me the advice that i will give to the sisters especially the one that tests me because i did um, i did tell the girls i'm gonna answer in this video this is all that's all we can say but i feel like it dua please just pray a lot to allah that allah makes no, your, it, your parents heart open because sometimes you may actually think like your parents won't it's hard it's hard with asian and um, especially, especially I, can, I can i can tell about gujarati people i can't tell about other people yeah but gujarati is it's, it's hard to convince especially if they are back home mentality mm. it's hard because oh what will people say back home or what will oh. i mean Why I, I, i can speak in gujarati what they what, what How are we going to communicate with her something like that or him? Yeah, that, that's that's one of the thing. Yeah, but really, I really feel like it was important what you tell your parents is like hey, you need to find someone that no. have a Islamic manner because since they have Islamic manner, it's going to be easier. Like I'm from, I mean, I'm from Islam black organization, but because we've got like Islamic manner, so we know like we're going to respect elderly people, you know something like that. That is already like in Islam. That's no culture. That's thing. that's that's the thing. Because some that's people, the thing parents need to understand. Yeah. That okay, it's Islamic, Islamic is not manners, wrong. That's what we look for. But culturally they will think it's wrong. And they might think oh we will send our daughter to this this person's house. Yeah. They might not be comfortable, which are, if they're from back home then I don't blame them because never seen other culture. They never been out. Then yeah, they they It's difficult. It's a diff difficult one. But I also be. I'm gonna be honest here. Like also, just marrying in a different culture is actually really hard than marrying your own culture. It is kind of hard, um, because obviously, um, thing that as as his family may want to talk to me about or share me about. Sometimes we can't communicate because of language barrier. So I understand where they come. Yeah, like my aunties from back home. Yeah. Talk to your your your, 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 your wife. wife. But They don't know you how, you know what I mean. So if he marries someone from his background, maybe it would, it would have been more easier for them to communicate and get to know me as a person. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously your family have the right as well of knowing your wife. Well, your I would say if, if if anyone's struggling, boy or girl mm -hmm. struggling, to tell the parent, just tell if the person is pious, he's Muslim, just show them the the the, the life of uh, companions of yeah. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All show speak. them what Islam teaches. Tell them this is what happened, but do not go against parents' rule. Yeah, I really feel like if you're a brother, it would be easier because you can speak to Imam, yeah, and tell him that maybe the Imam because he's gonna be maybe an older person. If you go no, to even, your even, parents, even maybe sister, they even sister can go to Imam. Yeah, talk to Imam. Tell him the story. Maybe if they go to talk to your parents, if, if maybe you your parents will Imam, understand it. Back home, you can't just go to Imam and just tell. But if you know any 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 Pardon. scholar, yeah, in your. Place. In your in your in your, your family kids. members in your community. Someone that your you family know. knows. Yeah. Because that way they will trust them. Respected one. Yes. Yeah. That way. Just go speak to them. Tell them this is the situation. Mm. And inshallah, Allah will open doors. Yeah. But if guys, if it doesn't work because of the parents and things like that, sometimes maybe it's just not meant to be. You know, because if Allah has made like First this is your all, wife, this is your husband, you guys gonna end up together somehow. Guys, I think we've spoken enough about this uh, thing. In. Um. Well, it's it. Uh, we can't really give you any more advice or anything. I mean, answer to this because we didn't go through that. My parents didn't have a problem with me marrying as us and even being Asian, and the same way it goes to for me to his family. They all okay. Uh, I really think like uh, um, this is something that imams or like in the mosque they need to keep addressing and teaching the people. I mean, preaching in the mosque. Oh, they do. They so do. if they do more, maybe people will actually understand it. You know, because Pious or anything? No, 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 no. It just. Why are you talking about Gujarat? You, you someone else? This is an example. I don't know. Maybe just I'm them. Being, I'm offended now. <laughs> just being Pakistani and this person from Pakistan doesn't stop, make them. Now you're saying Pakistani and other. Why not black community? <laughs> we don't have this kind of money thing mostly. Well, the ah. only thing we have is mahar, dapa. Oh, that that's a completely different story. Ah uh, yeah, no. Mahar is like in a black community where I'm from. Is like yeah, they will be like rinse the boy out, just yeah, finish him off. Literally, they will say yes, yes, gay marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bring this like maybe I don't know, uh, maybe thirty thousand pound to marry our daughter, something like that. Twenty five, ten, 
Twelve, ten is like literally the norm, you know. The norm. I was very blunt to her and her family. I wouldn't say like uh, this is the limiter. No, it, honestly, a uh, girl has a right to ask whatever she wants. Yeah, it's she a has girl's right. Together. It's a girl's right. If I want to ask him, but I need to be realistic. Like literally, I've spoke to this guy. I know what he does as a job. I know how much he's earning because we're going to live together. So we spoke about this. So why would I see someone working on a minimum minimum wages, like literally no more, like you getting paid ten nine pound an hour, and I want want to you to give me ten thousand pound? As my mahar, on top of that, like you need to buy things for a wedding and doing a wedding preparation, my bridal dress, blah blah blah, all these things. Like, this is not realistic. What was my answer when the, the, the kind of thing? I said, look, if you guys wanna have mahar five, ten, fifteen, twenty, whatever, fifty, sixty thousand, let's set up one in system. You go your way, I go my way. We never asked you for that though. I know. I'm just saying an example. Yeah, well, that, yeah, that's how it works. Like it, for me, I always, I know, like parents, I forgot, I know, understand this. Literally, mom, no offense, dad, no offense. I know this is what they've been expecting. It. Like my daughter's gonna get married one day. They're gonna bring ten thousand pound. Yeah, blah blah blah. They're gonna get few things to ours. But no, 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 no. For me, I was, I usually always used to tell them, I'm gonna speak to the guy. And if I think they can afford that amount, yes, I'm gonna ask them. If I think they can't, then they can't. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna stop myself from getting married because your mother can be anything. Yes, I know it can. That's why, like, if, if, I, if I like if a girl, you, if a girl says, "Oh, well, in my mother, you will have to memorize Surah Baqarah." Yes, I know. Or I memorize be. the whole Quran. Yes, then, that can be. Then the guy will have to do that. And yeah, that anything can, can happen. But literally, I won't stop from marrying someone that I love just because they did not give me maybe ten thousand. Pound as a mahar. No, no, no. He's good. He's treating me right. I see him as a pious person. I see like we get along and things like that. That's enough for me. Like I don't want the money. The money is gonna come and go. If he's no good person, he's just not a good person. Like, he is what he is. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. We're talking too much. I don't. I wonder how long this video is. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys. I'm sleepy and I still have to eat and so I'm just mumbling and jumping. Anyway, guys. I'm sleepy. Uh, I'm sleepy. Mella guide us or. And uh, yeah, if you guys ask some serious question, Islamic question, actually questions, the questions today that was will good. give us a, 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 a what's it called excuse to go learn, to go ask, to educate ourselves as well, and inshallah educate the ummah as well, and hopefully this can or oh, inshallah may Allah put this in our, on our on our scale on the day of judgment. Like today, the question that you guys asked, like especially the question like what do we like about each other that we wish we had, that's really good question. That's a really good that question. That literally because makes our relationship more stronger because literally we're actually saying something nice to each other. I like this about you. That is actually really nice. You know what I mean? You know, what do you hate about each other? These things are like, wow. What do I hate about you? <laughs> Moodiness. Oh yeah. <laughs> He says this in every video. If you watch all our videos, you've heard this many times. Yeah. Mm. He said that muddy. You guys think I'm muddy? They don't think so. That. They don't see that. Yeah, on a video. This is why when you see social, social media, media, it's, it's, a fake, fake. Life. it's, it's a fake. fake thing. Life. This is People not real. Just want to see what, what's... It is not real. How you see person like in 10, 20 minutes, this is not how they are day to day in the basis. Like if I'm and filming, it, my brain it, tells it, me I'm filming. It, I need to be. If a person's real life is is being recorded and shown to people, they start judging. I mean, I'm not. I can't blame them. I'll I'll be judging as well. Oh, look at her treating her husband like this. Oh, Prophet Allah said, if the right, if there was a right, if okay, if a person could do sujud, if it was allowed to do sujud, except uh, uh, apart from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, I would have, have asked a wife to, to do sujud, sujud to, to her husband. husband. Do you so, guys get it? I hope we did not confuse you guys. Yeah, don't, don't get confused. It doesn't mean that you go do sujud to your <laughs> husband. husband. No, 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 and no, no. It doesn't mean that husband needs to keep telling and demanding and <laughs> become a like a. You know, a back home person, back home Indian, Pakistani, or Bengali person. Oh, I'm gonna hit you today. Yeah, yeah you need to respect go, me. I'm your husband. Yeah, Give so me don't, don't become like that. It's, it's just that that that's the amount of respect a husband should should have, be getting. Should be get, should be given, not yeah. getting. And um, I mean, that's what Allah has given them. That sta that statue. Is that how you say status? Status. Yeah, Allah has given them that. Like it. Yeah. Whether you like it or no, it doesn't change what Allah has given to them. 
simple as that, you know what I mean? It is what it is. If you guys see painting, because, you know, we've been painting. We are mom's house, my mom's house. Anyway, guys, we have to end the video here. We've been speaking. I think we missed speaking no, to you guys. No, let's carry on for two seconds. Let's make a movie for them. <laughs> movie? Mm. Yeah, so you guys can watch. This is the movie, you know? Yeah, but I think it's a boring movie. I'm so keen on it. You know what I'm planning to do, though? If you saw grows a little bit, I don't want to show my hand up. What do you want to do? Uh, read the tafsir of uh, Prophet Salam biography. Mm. Yeah, that would be nice. Topic and here. read a book. And uh, yeah. inshallah, we all who are watch, watching it can implement in their life and they can, they can come up with well, well, We'll see how she is and that's just in the future. We'll just see, but it's not something that we are planning to do so far. And well, she we're going to do, we're gonna do But if she's a good girl, she's reading Quran and she, of course, she will think that it may help other kids or other parents, do you know what I mean? Something like that, then that's okay, you know, because it's helping in a good way. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it was a good question. Thank you so much for everyone that did send us a question. I appreciate you guys because obviously if you wanted it, you wouldn't have, I mean, if you didn't want to ask questions, we'd have had any video to do. So thank you for asking questions. And uh, we are sorry if we said anything that would have, uh, if we upset it. And yeah, if you, if you said anything wrong, Islamically, you think it's not right, do correct us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will take full responsibility and we won't be like oh. and we will ask forgiveness to Allah do you know what I mean if we yeah. said anything that is not correct but if also if we said just normal thing but anything you upset good it, we said it was from Allah anything bad that came out from our mouth it was our and it was from our oh, fault God. and it's from shaitan yeah so anyway thank you so much Assalamu alaikum well, um, like and comment in this video and thank you so much for watching I'm doing these things backward you know you say <laughs> Star, thank you for watching blah blah blah. And salam for being supposed to be the last thing. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs>